Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a population of bacteria that doubles every single 10 minutes. That's what they said at the beginning, right? Very important double and the time here. A T equals 120 minutes. We have a population of 60,000. They ask us what is the initial population, which means at T equals zero. So this is what we call exponential growth and we model of this equation the only difference i'm going to write it a little bit different i'm going to say here p of t equal p of zero times b to the power of t so very similar to that equation the only difference you know you see i said p of t the population at a specific time equals p of zero is the initial population that's the thing we're going to find out b uh, that exponential base and t is the time so now let's see in this part a what we have we have this p of t in fact which is 60,000 the question is and you need to be careful with that t and probably that's the first thing i should have done because you see the population double every 10 minutes and we have t equals 120 minutes so the first thing you want to do is do this 120 minutes divide by 10 which is obviously 12 and that is in fact what this t is here 12 we have 12 periods of time of 10 minutes in which the population doubled and we have that population of 60,000 so now uh, b also we know b it's two because it's doubling so now we can go and put all this information in the equation we have here we have p of 12 which is 60,000 equals p sub 0 the initial population that's what we need to find out times 2 the b it's 2 and t will be this 12 because like i said we have 12 periods of 10 minutes so how do we find p sub 0 here we divide by this 2 to the 12 powers and this is about just grabbing a calculator and do this math okay and we have here 60,000 divide by 2 to the power of 12 and i end up with this wonderful number 14.648 and this is population i will honestly will round it up to 15 because you cannot have 0.6 of a bacteria but it is what it is let's leave it like that now we can move to part b where we need to find the population after five hours so what do you want to do there first you want to find out how many period of 10 minutes are in five hours and five hours means what five times 60 minutes and that means 30 300 minutes i'm sorry so how many period of 10 minutes we have in that 300 minutes so if in your mind says oh i'm going to divide 300 by 10 that's exactly what i'm doing that is 30 that is how much t in our case here is i'm going to have p of 30 equals p sub zero d i'm going to use this number i have it on the left here for 14.648 but remember i still have it in the calculator times b which is to remember the same two to the power of 30 okay because this this equation here by the way p of t becomes this this equation 500 times 2 i'm sorry not 500 14.6 that is the initial population times 2 to the power of t this is the equation that models our problem but now let's go here p of 30 what we need to find out and like i said lucky me i still have the number in the calculator i will times by 2 to the power of 30 and i get this wonderful number my calculator gives me the scientific notation 
1.572864 times 10 to the 10 power. Wow, that is very interesting. That's one way, but you may want to put it in the other format, the standard form. Let me see if I can get it. You move the decimal dot 10, 10 spots to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 5, 7, 2, 8, 6, 4. So uh, those are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of course, if you have a better calculator or a different mode, you can do that and get a, a closer answer. If you enjoyed this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back. That's his score for more help. Thank you.